Welcome to the John A. Burns School of Medicine. I'm Dean Jaris Hedges, and we're going to discuss learning communities and how they have impacted our curriculum here at the John A. Burns School of Medicine. Doctoring has changed, and also the way of training doctors has changed. It's become more difficult for us to sustain the interaction that patients and physicians have had. So the learning community itself will be one of the mechanisms we use to help the students with their patient-doctor relationship. You can't do it in a classroom. It has to be done through an interactive mode with small groups, and we are looking at how we can reintroduce some of that great high-touch uh, connectivity between the student and the patients they care for. The learning community is a cohort of students who will work with an exemplary mentoring physician. This community will be supportive. It will help reinforce lessons uh, folks are getting both in the classroom and in their clinical settings. So this not only provides a great way of introducing some complex, uh, challenging uh, problems that we have to address as physicians, but also provides a support mechanism for the students to feel comfortable not only learning about those things, but approaching them on their own in the future. I think learning communities is key to developing the skills that physicians will need in their training to match the demands that they'll face. First of all, learning communities will develop the empathy that you know, physicians will need to ask the question, what matters to you, as opposed to what's the matter with you? I think the skill sets that physicians of tomorrow need are empathy. They need an understanding of how to run a team. They need to be able to collaborate. They need to be able to drive everything back to the patient. HMSA is stepping up to help Jabson and learning communities because the sustainability of healthcare in Hawaii and sustainability of health in Hawaii depends on the proper training of our physician workforce. Learning communities was the right approach for Jabson because it enabled us to really improve the curriculum for the medical students to focus on topics that are not necessarily taught best in a large lecture setting. So for example, like how to show compassion and empathy towards your patients, how to make sure that you're addressing your own personal implicit bias before encountering your patients. And we really wanted to make sure that physicians graduating from Jabsum had all of these great qualities to create even better physicians for Hawaii's community. The way that learning communities is able to help students as they're going into the clinical environment is to be able to become more resilient physicians, being able to practice medicine in a very stressful time. So we're trying to teach them techniques to practice wellness for themselves and not to get overwhelmed with all of the work that needs to be done because that's what happens when physicians burn out is they don't consider their wellness and their resiliency. They just work until they're completely done. And that doesn't do anybody any good. Honestly, the patients suffer, um, the physicians suffer, you know, their family suffers. So one of the real great things about learning communities is it really can help to develop a physician's professional identity formation. It can really make you understand all of the different components in medical ethics so that when you are faced with that very difficult patient case, you have a strong foundation in your own professional identity to be able to say, yes, I know what is the right thing to do and how to advocate for my patient. In designing our learning community program, we wanted a concept that was uh, familiar and had significance for us here in Hawaii. Each of our learning community groups is actually named after one of the six mokus on Oahu, which are large land divisions. And within those mokus, we have a makai group and a mauka group. And those are mentored by a faculty member. Each group has six students representing each level from first through fourth years. And we have an additional faculty member who helps to oversee their activities as well. And we hope that these students and these faculty members can develop a longitudinal relationship over the four years that the students are with us here at Jabsum. What we hope the students would do within our uh, mokus is get to know the community, uh, listen to them, talk story with them. Maybe we could help 
families navigate our complex healthcare system. Maybe we can work alongside them in the Lo'i to help grow food for the community. We could also have our students, um, instead of just learning about how to improve our healthcare system through a textbook or a lecture, we can actually have them work with our community health centers. So really it's about establishing that relationship, growing that relationship, nurturing it, um, and helping the community in whatever way that they, um, they tell us is important to them. I think it's important for us to adjust our approach based on the population we're serving because every population and every individual has their own story and their own history. And I think the better that we understand um, where they're coming from, the better we can care for them. Having a strong relationship with our community and the patients that we're caring for really comes down to trust. I think that's the foundation of any relationship and the more they get to know us as students and as providers, the more they'll trust us and therefore trust the care that we're giving. I think my favorite aspect of the learning community so far has been mentorship. We are able to not only get mentorship through my fellow classmates, the classes above and below us, but also through actual community providers and to learn from these practicing providers who are seeing patients every day and to hear their experiences has really fulfilled uh, this year. I think one of the biggest difference between my experience at JABSUM before learning communities and now being part of them has been those in-depth discussions with my classmates and with community mentors. We're really able to take a deeper dive into some topics that we might not have had the time to in class or through PBL and really get to share each other's ideas and learn from one another. If we can accomplish our mission, which is really to train competent, compassionate, culturally sensitive physicians who are committed and connected to our communities, not only can we help to address our physician shortage, but we would do so in a way that allows us to care for the communities the way that they deserve to be cared for. I'm hoping that through our curriculum and through our activities and working with the communities that the students will take it with them um, into their clinical practice and hopefully that's here in Hawaii.